Hello, this is Ken Ferry with this week's Boots in the Field. Today we'll start out with a plot report. Um, big week on plots. When we take plots out, typically we have a push in the beginning. Guys want to get them out of the way up front. Then it slows down quite a bit and then there's a push at the end as the guys save the plots uh, for last from a harvest perspective and I can understand that. Well, we're in the middle of the last push right now. This week was a heavy duty week and I expect next week to be the same. We did a lot of plot work. We took out a large soybean seed treatment plot. We're looking at a lot of different seed treatments followed over the top with some foliar disease and insecticide treatments. We had four large planter fertilizer plots. We looked at different mixes, different types of fertilizers, um, blending in 32% as well as orthos and polys. We looked at a slew of starter additives and nitrogen additives at the planter itself and a big scale on three big plots. We did our drainage study plot this week. Uh, we also did a pinch row study plot. And this is a pinch row on the side dress where we look at uh, a track tractor on the toolbar versus a tractor with duels versus a tractor with singles to see how much the side dress plays into the pinch row effect that we're working with. We took out a weight transfer plot. That's where we're using uh, weight transfer systems on the corn planter to try to move out the center weight of the planter out to the wings. We did strip till plots. We did more seed pods in our fixed flex. Started our multi-hybrid plot. Also looking at side dress plots where we looked at not only nitrogen, but nitrogen plus sulfur. Nitrogen plus sulfur plus potassium. Looking at it with a colder versus Y dropping um, versus a broadcast application. And uh, a lot more to come to finish up next week. But I want to take time to say a big, big thanks to you guys that are in the plot partner program. Uh, the effort that you're putting forth we just there'd be no way we would have this data without the effort that you guys are doing out there i think we have a unique situation here at crop tech where we have farmers pulling together to collect this data so everybody can learn from it everybody can improve their bottom line it's kind of a neat thing for you guys that are in the plot partner program or helping us with plots as soon as you finish up try to get your yield data files in here so we can start scaling them to our scale weights and start the process of pulling that data out and cleaning it up for our winter meetings itself. I'm going to be pushed this year uh, because it is going to be later than normal or in a finish. So we're going to have to hustle to get these things ready for the January, February meetings. Last week, I told you guys about the boys in Ohio that harvested 570 acres in a 24-hour stretch of soybeans. Got in that figured and fired off a number of calls and inquiries. Just how many combines was that? Was that four or five combines? How did they do that? I talked to Ray. That was two combines with 40-foot draper heads nonstop for 24 hours. Ray said the secret is in the high horsepower combine. I know the real secret is actually his wife, Kathy, who runs the grain facility and keeps the beans away from these two monstrous combines so they can run all night. You know what they say, behind every high horsepower combine, there's a good woman or something like that. As we work on wrapping up harvest, um, especially to the north, fall burn down is going on at a pretty fast pace. Tillage is at full bore just about everywhere. Last week, we did a YouTube video on inline rippers. Uh, this week, Zach will post a video as well on hybrid chisels. So if you guys are running the hybrid chisels out there, you may want to take time to look at that. Make sure we get that pass right because it is pretty important. The maximum daily soil temperatures at 4 inches under bare soil have now dropped below 50 degrees from Peoria North. So for those of you guys that are following the 4R Code of Ethics, which is waiting for the soil maximum temperatures to go below 50 and stay there, you can start. Looks at things though, that's probably only about two of you that don't have your anhydrous on as I drive through the country itself. Well, you guys keep uh, cleaning up the harvest as you go. We'll keep knocking down the plots. If you get your fields harvested, don't forget to call them in. Katie's crew will clean them up so we can get those wrecks back to you. Uh, we'll soon be setting our hand harvest date. So that's another reason to get this season in the books so we can uh, find a date to to, uh, to get that hand harvesting done for our seed pods itself. With that though, keep her safe, keep her moving.